Hello everybody. Um, I'm down at Barton-on-Sea on the south coast today. I was driving past the other day and uh, I saw this hut. Uh, it's a little shelter hut on the overcliff um, which sort of caught my eye and I thought it might make for a, quite a good uh, composition. Um, when the, it's actually pouring with rain at the moment, it's a pretty miserable day. But I thought I'd come down here and see what uh, see what I could get. Um, the lens I'm going to use for this, I think, is going to be my zoom 70 to 210. The reason being is I want to um, sort of compress the uh, foreground. The thing is, for this shot, I need someone walking past. Um, to make the image um, and I think I really ideally want them sort of to be wearing a red top um, because that sort of stands out in the actual um, composition um, so I might be here some time waiting for some of the parts in a, a, a red top but um, I think the settings I'm going to use I'll probably use auto white balance um, I think I'm going to be looking for about a quarter of a second uh, shutter speed. I don't want the person too blurred, uh, but I don't want them too sharp either. So uh, yeah, once this rain stops, which actually I think it has now, um, we'll uh, pop out and uh, I'll show you the composition that I'm planning and see what we can get. First of all, I must apologise for the wind. It's absolutely howling up here today. Um, but this is the hut that I was just telling you about, um, which I want to put in the right-hand side of my image. And I want the bench, which is just to the left of it, um, on just the left-hand corner. That, that's, the, that's the hut there. Um, and I, I think if I can pick up the bench that I'm talking about, uh, it is that that one there. I think I'm pointing it, but you can see you can see what I'm getting at. Um, and what I want is someone to walk past, um, either in that direction or that direction. It doesn't really matter. And I want them situated about here when I take the image. Um, and as I say, I really want them ideally dressed in a red top so they stand out against the uh, background. But as you can see, there's not many people about today, so I might be here sometime waiting for someone. But unfortunately, that's the name of the game. Um, that's uh, the penalty we pay for our art. Oh, dear. Oh, that is so windy out there today. Well, I've been here about an hour and there's been two people uh, who've actually walked past in a, a red top. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully I got the shot that I want to. Um, difficult to tell really till I get home. So yeah, I think, uh, I think that's me done here today. Um, so we'll get home, have a look at them, have a cup of coffee and uh, see if I got the image that I had in my head. Um, I think what I want to do is sort of darken off the foreground um, and have the person who was walking past um, silhouetted against the uh, sea um, so they can stand out. Um, that, that's what I've got in my head anyway. So yeah. So, uh, see you when I get home and have a look at the images. Right, so I'm back at the computer now. Um, I've got to be honest with you, I didn't get anything on that day, um, or I didn't get the image that I had in my head. So I went back the following day, and I managed to capture this image. 
which is basically what I wanted with the chap walking past. And he actually had an umbrella, which I thought sort of set the image off quite well. So I'll just run through with you uh, what I did to it in post to get the final image that I had in my head. The first thing was I, I unfortunately got this bench in the foreground, which I didn't want. Um, so I, I got rid of that. And there were also these posts on the left hand side, which I didn't think did anything for the image. Uh, so I got rid of those. Now, right from the very offset, I always wanted to darken off the foreground. Um, so I put in some levels and curves which achieved that. And that, that is exactly what I wanted. Um, and it also darkened off the sky slightly as well. I put in a uh, colour booster which just um, boosted the colours in the foreground and also boosted the colour of his red jacket. Um, if I just turn that off, you can see it's not a great deal, but I think it, it just sort of makes the foreground pop a little bit more. Um, I also wanted to darken off the sky because it was a very horrible stormy day and I wanted to sort of relay that into the image. So I put in a graduated filter and uh, just tweaked the levels and curves, which um, gave me um, that sort of very moody sky, uh, as I say, which is how I, how I felt on the day. Um, color control point, I think I was on his umbrella. I just tweaked the color of his umbrella a little bit just to make it pop a little bit more. Um, these auto retouch brushes, they were just for um, dust bunnies basically. I put in a slight noise reduction, I think it was about 10%, yeah 10%. It wasn't a great deal, it didn't need a great deal. And the final thing I did just to balance the image up was I put in a, a small crop, um, which as I say I thought sort of balanced um, the image up better. So yeah, that, that's it. That is the final image. I was really quite pleased with that because that's what I had in my head to capture right from the very beginning. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to see future videos. So this is John Dexter saying bye for now.